Hello, my name is Rick Hope. I'm pastor at First Baptist Church Lillian. Every now and then I record one of these just to kind of communicate messages to whoever might be listening. This past week, I've had the opportunity to participate or be in five different funerals. Now, no pastor likes funerals. It's just part of the job. It's something we do so that we can minister to a family during a time of need. In every single case, there was grieving. Now that sounds like a aha moment, no kidding, there's grieving, but I have been to at least one where there wasn't grieving. It was a homeless man who passed away, no next of kin, no friends, nobody could really locate him, and, and they asked me to participate in a burial, and the only people there was me and one other person, a police officer, and so there really wasn't any grieving. But in the ones I was at, these people were someone that somebody loved, they had friends, they had family, and there was grieving. But there were two things I noticed. There were a couple of those funerals where the sobbing was uncontrollable. There was deep, deep, deep grief, unbelievable grief. They couldn't seem to contain themselves. Their devastation over the loss of a loved one was unrequited. And as a pastor, you, you stand up and you try to say words that will make them feel better, but the truth is there are no words. None. And so you end up just trying your best to let them know you're available. But then I'm thinking of one funeral I went to in particular last week, a good, good friend that I've known for the past nine years. Passed away, I want to say suddenly, but it really wasn't suddenly. We knew that he would probably not make it through the year. We just didn't know it would be this soon. And yes, there was grief. And yes, there were people having a rough time. But for the most part, there was also this type of peace. I think it's what Paul was talking about in First Thessalonians. Grieving, but not as ones without hope. Because you see, we knew where my friend Doyle was. And so, there was no uncontrollable, unrequited grieving. I could stand up there and tell the family and tell the friends words that I knew that would help them, that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Spirit, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And that there was this amazing grace that was available through Jesus Christ on the cross, and because my friend Doyle knew that Jesus, I knew where he was today. And I come away from those funerals realizing that unless the Lord tarries, someday they're going to do mine. And I'll be honest, I want there to be some crying. I want to know that I've made an impact and that there are going to be people who will miss me. But I want there to be more joy than tears. I want there to be people who are able to say we know where he is because we knew of his relationship with Jesus. I want them to be able to say that they knew that I had salvation. And because of that, they knew that to be absent from the body was to be present with the Spirit, and so shall I ever be with the Lord. Now here's my question for you today. What will they say at your funeral? Will there be unrequited, uncontrollable grieving? Or will they be able to say, we know where he is, he's with Jesus. He has that relationship. I mean, wouldn't that be an awesome thing to say? Come on. That's the only way to heaven. The Bible says in John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. We were all born into this thing called sin. And because of that, Romans 3, 23 says we're all born in sin. Because of that, Romans 6, 23 makes it clear that the wages of sin is death. That's separation from God. That's hell. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And according to Romans 10, 9, if you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God's raised him from the dead, you can be saved. One day, unless the Lord tarries, you're going to have a funeral. And only if you have that relationship with Jesus Christ will they be able to say, it's okay, we know where he is. God bless you. Thank you for listening.